Let us learn about the midpoint theorem. The theorem states that the straight line joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to and equal to half of the third side. We are given the triangle ABC with sides AB and AC, having P and Q as their midpoints. It is required to prove that PQ is parallel to BC and PQ is equal to half of BC. This requires a simple construction. Draw CR parallel to BA to meet PQ produced at R. Let us compare triangle APQ and triangle CQR. Since BA is parallel to CR, alternate angles, angle A is equal to angle QCR. Vertically opposite angles, angle AQP and angle CQR are equal. AQ is equal to CQ. This data is given. By AAS congruency, Triangle APQ is congruent to triangle CQR. Hence, PQ is equal to QR and AP is equal to CR. But AP is equal to BP from the given data. Therefore, BP is equal to CR. By construction, BP is parallel to CR. Therefore, BCRP is a parallelogram. Hence, PQ is parallel to BC. PQ is equal to half of PR since PQ is equal to QR. But PR is equal to BC since BCRP is a parallelogram. Therefore, PQ is equal to half of BC. Thus the theorem is proved. Now let us see the converse of the midpoint theorem. It states that a straight line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to another bisects the third side. We are given a triangle ABC in which P is the midpoint of AB and PQ is parallel to BC. To prove that AQ is equal to CQ. Construction Draw CR parallel to BA to meet PQ produced at R. Proof of the theorem. We are given PR is parallel to BC. By construction, BP is parallel to CR. Therefore, BCRP is a parallelogram. Therefore, BP is equal to CR since the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. But we are given BP is equal to AP. Therefore, AP is equal to CR. Comparing triangles APQ and CQR, we have angle A is equal to angle QCR. Since they are alternate angles, as BP is parallel to CR. Angle AQP is equal to angle CQR, since they are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, by AAS congruency, we have triangle APQ is congruent to triangle CQR. Therefore, AQ is equal to CQ. Thus, the converse of the theorem is also proved.